hey y'all Siegel here um I'm gonna let the intro play before you know I say what we're doing I mean you can obviously see by the title what we're doing and if you saw my Instagram Twitter post you know but I'm gonna let the intro play Intro is long. I never noticed. I never knew this. That was like a whole ass music video. Anyway, as you can see above me, and as you can see right here, and as you can see in the title, we're playing Silent Hill 3. Um, I'm usually not a huge scary game type of person at least not with like jump scares and stuff but i love like atmospheric horror i love like old survival horror games like i love resident evil i love silent hill this is my favorite silent hill game i've only really played the first and third one um but i know like a lot about the series i think it's gonna be yeah, asking play the intro. um heather is like my favorite silent hill protagonist i just think she's really cool um, I've never finished the game, because I don't finish anything, but I'm gonna, you know, attempt to finish this game, you know, so we're just gonna, gonna get started. So I know, like, oh god. I've played this intro sequence many times and that still made me jump a little bit. Slightly unsettled already. I love it. I love hearing these noises in my ear. 
So, uh, this is the PC port of the game. Um, you can, you know, find that however you do. I won't tell you. I won't, uh, you know, but it's out there. Here is Heather Mason. But I've never played this game with headphones and it's so unsettling to like hear these gross ass noises in my ear. A rabbit doll. No, it's a costume. Is someone in there? That is Robbie. Rabbit, I believe? Yeah, it's a giant rabbit costume. Why would this be here? Um, so we're in an amusement park. Um, I mean, like I said, I've known a little bit about the game, so I'm not just gonna like, you know, try and pretend like I've never played this part before. Um, like, you just need to die, I'm pretty sure, in this section, but... I'm actually just gonna run. Not there. I am suddenly thinking this is an awful idea. Because, God, do I feel so unsettled. Like, nothing is even happening. It's just, like, everything... That's the thing about these games, like... Um... Like, everything is there. You're you're just hearing it and seeing it come toward... It, it, it's just... It's unsettling. I, I, I will say that word a million times throughout this playthrough. Um... You know, I don't want I don't want to jinx myself and be like, yeah, you know, like if I do it, I'm gonna try my hardest to get through it. But I'm also a bitch at the end of the day, so. Where the fuck is the steps? Oh, right here. I, I don't even care what's after me. I'm just trying to make it to the fucking roller coaster. Bitch, get away from me. Alright, alright, alright. The noises have stopped. Oh god. That's disgusting to hear in my ear. I'm hearing wet noises. I don't fucking like that. But also, I'm not hearing anything except for the noises of me walking on this thing. So I, it's also kind of unsettling. It was a dream sequence. I'm pretty sure you can die to any of the enemies there and then it'll get you to this point. But I always think that's the most interesting way to go about it. Just her getting hit by the fucking roller coaster. What a nightmare. Also, can I just say that for, like, well, I don't know, I think this game came out in, like, what, 2004? It's, like, a f almost a 15-year-old game. 
or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what year this game came out. But it, the PC port of this game looks fantastic. <laughs> Dad, it's me. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. The music, man. Okay. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Cartland. I'm a detective. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. You know, half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. Man, if someone fucking came up to me and I, like, interested. like, it was like, I have to talk to you about your birth, I'd be like, nigga, who are you? Whatever you have to say, I don't want to know. I'm Gucci. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. All right, and now the game begins. Uh, we can't go back because she's like that weirdo detective is out there, so I'm not leaving. Um, got our save point here. The mark on this mirror—it looks so familiar somehow. What do I know it from? Where did I once see it? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? So you know, I was just testing out to make sure the game worked and whatnot. So I'm just gonna save over it. And now we start. We gotta exit the window and just run. So I've probably got past this section that I'm in right now. I've probably gotten past this, but not too much further. So it's not a complete blind playthrough, but It's, um, that's an unsettling noise. I apologize. I'm going to be saying unsettling like 14 billion times. It's just. Blech. The gun. Oh god, please stop making fucking wet noises. <laughs> Noises are as gross for y'all as it is for me, cause oof. What the hell is this thing? All right, well that's technically the first enemy. Um, even though we don't fight it, we just it's fought in a cutscene. But it's definitely not human. I've never heard so, uh, ah, I've never heard of such an animal. In no way, it's a costume. It sounds crazy when you say it, but monster is the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. So. 
R1 is to ready your weapon, L2 and R2, but well, it's not because I'm playing on PS4 controller. Strafe, uh, L1 is to look and then a camera. This option or share is the. So I have my house key. Daisy Villa apartment number 102 was carved into the key. And pendant. Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my treasured belongings. There's a red jewel inside, like a little red tablet. When I asked Dad what it was, he said, just a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. Well, that's gotta be important. We have our knife. I know it's terrible, but I just love walking around with this. Of course, this is the first time I've used it against anything living. Uh, it's a switchblade for self-defense. Better with than without better with than without it against those monsters holds 10 rounds of am uh, sorry the handgun holds 10 rounds of ammunition small and not powerful but easy to use and we have zero ammo for it right now because she just used it all on that uh monster okay let's take a look it's not that i hate clothes but this isn't the time or place fair enough i think what you're wearing right now is already cool enough also i like that if you like walk in the blood of an enemy, it'll trail, like it'll track on the floor. I think that's really. I can tell from here that it's dead, but I call the police. Not like they believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. True, very true. Also, if you uh, press both the trigger buttons, you do a quick turn. All right, um. I don't exactly remember what you have to do next. I just know that it involves like tongs or something. The map. Yes. I got the shopping mall map. And square is the map. And it'll tell you where you can go and what doors are locked, which I think is a really neat feature. Max not gonna go this way. Great, all of these are locked. The locker door won't open. Guess I'll just leave it alone. For sure I check this door. Oh, so that's floors, okay. Can I zoom in? It does not appear that I can zoom in. Or at least I'm not for any of any of the buttons that I can. Okay, let's go upstairs. It's it'd be too hard to get through here with all the boxes and piles. I and mean, you could just like walk over them. Alright, you know those noises. They mean monsters are afoot. So, uh, I'll explain what it was doing, um, that dog was doing, when after I kill it. Please stop biting me. God, this knife kinda sucks. Please stop biting me. Maybe because I'm moving. Maybe I should stop moving. What? What's my health at? I think I'm about to die. No, I'm at yellow health. Yeah, maybe I just need to move as I try and attack it. There we go. Jesus Christ. And you can stomp them. I'm pretty sure it's already dead, but you can just stomp them if you want. 
All right, so what I was eating, um, I don't know if I can pick it up, but no, it's right here. Beef jerky. So, um, yeah, processed dried meat. Sometimes it's just enough to distract monsters. I'm pretty sure you just put it down. I don't think you can eat it. There's lots of stuff, but none of it really looks to be useful. Yeah, so that's just... Uh, this room is just kind of to explain that, um, that's a thing you can do. That sounds like a horse. But did I come from this way? No. Alright, now we're in the mall. Like, center, I guess, if you want to call it that. It's bread. Wait, what? That says, did I say something else? But I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry. Yeah, true. I got a pair of tongs. Yeah, that was, that's what I was talking about. Need tongs. Puzzle coming up. Oh, it's all bread. Okay, I guess that's all this in here is the tongs. Gonna mosey on by you. Don't even worry about it. It's, not, it's cool. You don't gotta. You don't gotta touch me. It's locked. Oh god, it's fucking locked. Natalie, shoes. You're locked. Okay, that's, that's that's literally where we came. Okay. Um. There was a couple doors I didn't check. I think that was one of the ones I didn't check. No, it's. What door was it? That one? Yeah, I think. Okay, and then that was the other one I didn't check. No, that wasn't the door I didn't check. What the fuck? Was that a noise in the fucking game, or was that in my room? I have no fucking idea. That sounded really fucking close. Something's falling between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. If my arms were a little longer, I might be able to reach it. There's a huge pile of cardboard boxes on the table full of books. It's way too much of a pain to move something that heavy. That's what we need the tongs. It's a big pair of tweezer-like tongs for grabbing bread. Success. All right, I got the key taken with tongs. Let's examine that real quick. This key was dropped in the storeroom. I used the tongs to get it. There's a tag on the key that says, my best sellers. So I'm pretty sure there was a store um, that had a padlock on it or something. That was, So that's what we need. The key. Uh, we just picked up a health drink and some ammo. It's a health drink. It's full of nutri uh, nutrition and should help me recover at least a little of my strength. Then handgun bullets. Bullets for the handgun. 
Um, so, you know, we started the game, we, uh, killed our first monster. Well, I guess technically first two, because she kills one in the cutscene, but then we killed the dog after getting bit 30 times. Um, we got, we solved our first puzzle, we got the key with the tongs. So, in the next part, we will, uh, you know, continue exploring. We'll use this key and go from there. If y'all like this and want to see me keep to continue playing, I'm going to up record a couple parts. Um, but if you, you know, like it and want to see more, just let me know. Have a nice day, y'all.